Hi there, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Shiva Ener the Keener. Have you ever been told that you're really bad at drawing? Well, I have too, and I haven't drawn since probably the ninth grade because I got bullied for a drawing. What happened was a girl that was an artist drew a little drawing and I drew a little drawing and then we both put them up on my locker and then everybody gathered around and was like, wow, Kartha's really sucks. <laughs> we know I can paint. Well, I mean, kind of. I can kind of paint because I have a background in makeup, but I can't really draw. So we're going to try some drawing hacks. You ready, Shiva Keener? We're going to be Keeners today. Like you're a little Keener yourself. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing bell bottoms. <laughs> Wow, 2003 called. They want their pets back. Is this your diary? Is this Lana Del Rey? I mean, yeah, I drew a little Lana Del Rey. Why are you drawing Lana Del Rey? It was for a video that you were in. Oh, yeah, I remember. Terry's such a good artist, and I'm not like, look at that Cloudy Apple's concept art. Oh, yeah, we really thought about that. And then look at this one. I don't even know who that is. I get a fresh book. Because Shiba doesn't like to reuse things or recycle. This is a little grand for someone who sucks like me. Fresh shit. Yeah, I know, look at that. Fresh tree paper. <sighs> Confidence. You know when uh, artists like draw something and it's just a bunch of circles and you're confused at all the circles and then it becomes something better? That's what I'm hoping this will be. Whoa, are you good? Messed up my drawing, bud. I'm a genius at work. You know what this is? Six circles. You know what this is now? Seven. One time in the fifth grade, I was like coloring and this girl was like, do you not even know how to color? Like it was totally like, what is like the sickest burn at a fifth grade level? You don't even know how to color. Like that's like a baby saying to another baby, like your diaper is on wrong. Is your mom dumb? Except for this, the blame is totally on you. Look, it's turning into something. Oh, I think I made that eye too high. Ew. It looks creepy now. I'm making it bigger. When in doubt, add more circles. Oh my God, he's cross-eyed. I'm puking. See, I was never good at drawing. I always wanted to be, but like I never really knew how. And like YouTube wasn't a thing when Kartha was a kid. So like I just never really learned. Oh my, okay, so this, this is the problem with being left-handed. I'm gonna have like my entire hand here. It's gonna be destroyed with lead in a minute. And I've already got it on the canvas, like right here. Like. You. I'm ruining my drawing. I just have to touch her up after. Okay, does that look like a bear holding a cup to you? The cup looks a little empty. Check out them bubbles. Cute, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna make an X that turns into birds. I'm scared. Nice. No. The one I like the most, I wanna like apply a TikTok hack to it that I saw last night. Woo! Big eyes. He's really something. The video I'm watching, it feels like their pencil's like way blacker than mine. Yeah, I think they're using charcoal. Why am I using graphite? Because the store didn't have charcoal. Oh, you were looking for it? Yeah. Are you an artiste? No. You know what kind of pencils to look for? No. See, I don't know the first thing about it. Cute, huh? Is it big? It only looks like a bird head right now, Kartha. Well, it's gonna look like a bird soon. The birds are gonna have their way very, very soon. These guys are like not twins. I would definitely say sisters. These are different iterations of Darwin's finch. The Galapagos finch. He doesn't even want to look. You know what Yoshi perks him up? A little pet. You see that? He's back to sleeping again. Whoa, this one's like kind of trippy, hey? Huh? Why do they have got sticks for legs? This is trippy. What? These are like its tail. That's crazy. That's kind of kooky and fun. Okay, this next one scares me. So this is going to somehow turn into a skirt. How? I have no idea. This is like an anime skirt that I would have always wanted to draw, but would have just never known how. Oh my goodness. What's going on there? I don't know. So you draw two lines? And then a big squiggle? Yeah, apparently. I don't know. Easier said than done tutorial. Oh my goodness. What if I just look at the tutorial and not at my sheet and see what happens? What? 
Okay, well, we're gonna try to work with this. They call this a short mini skirt. I'm supposed to like make lines up where all these squiggles go. <laughs> I'm dying. And then like make this go up. Hey, it looks like a skirt, kind of. Just need some legs. They're anime legs, okay? They're really skinny. Looks I'm like there's three. Oh my God. Wow, what a bust. Maybe if I do it like a bit smaller. This is supposed to like kind of be like a Marilyn Monroe, like, ooh, she's flapping in the wind. In principle, it works. They look like th these legs though. I wasn't playing when I said I couldn't draw. Like I wasn't going, oh my gosh, I can't draw. And then like draw a really, really good thing. Like, ew. This one looks a little better though. Anime, yeah. Apparently like this isn't how you draw a shoe, which is hilarious. Like this is actually hilarious because this is how I drew shoes for my whole life until today. Apparently this is how you do it. You make like a Nike swoosh. What? What? I would say this is the difference between like clunky heels and like Louboutins. Like these are insane. Killed Shiba Keener. Had to. That's a really high heel. It's like, don't put her in the clunkers. Put her in the six inch Louboutin. That'll make her happy. Okay, so the top circles are ovals. The second circles are a little bit out and small. And then the bottom circles are bigger. That's all the information we have so far. Follow along. You draw too. Oh my goodness. What do you think it is? A shoe. A shoe? It's so nice when you like get it down and then you can finally see what it's supposed to be. What a little cross-eyed cutie. You know when you like get really discouraged from something and stop doing it because someone tells you that you suck at it? That was me with drawing for a long time. That was me with singing for a long time. That was me with performing for a long time. It like sucks to think of like all the things we could be. People didn't tell us we sucked when we were new at it. Look at his little eyebrow. He's so cute. I love him. I just don't like cartoons with elephants in them. You know what I mean? So you don't like Dumbo? Anyway. I hated Dumbo and I hated Babar. Like Babar, oh my goodness. I think that's Canadian actually. Really? Oh, if it wasn't an American, like you guys did not miss out at all. Look at his little hairs. <laughs> He's so cute. But why does he look so weird? Like he looks like he doesn't have a body. He's a big chunker with like really tiny hands. And... <laughs> yeah, he's just like, He's not anatomically correct, but oh, is he ever cute. I'm gonna name him Babar the Third. What does that look like to you? This is a psychology test. What do you see here? A butt. What? It's obviously a bunch of threes. It's a butt farting out other butts. <laughs> it's a butt fart butt. What is this thing? It's grossing me out even thinking about what this thing is. This is the most googly eyed thing I've ever seen. It's cute, but I don't trust it. What is that? Imagine looking in your aquarium bowl and seeing the dun dun dun. Oh, how's my little angel doing? Dun dun dun. All right, I'm learning how to draw. Check out my, my masterpiece. What's his name? Herbert. He didn't cross the T. Yeah, he did. What, do you want his name to be Hurtert? No, the T's be crossed. Meet Hurtert. His T's be crossed. This is a face. The nose already looks jacked. Oh my gosh, this guy's got a chin. They call him the chin. He's a chinny guy, but guess what else? He's getting some. Okay. Why? I need a border of where these two live. The problem with drawing is that you need to know what you're doing before you do it. Like this hack video, it seems very easy because they're continuously just like doing it in one take. But the difference between me and this is that they know what they're doing and I don't. Kind of like my mom, she's like, just cook. I'm yeah. like, mom, how do I cook? She's like, just cook. But how do you get it tasting so good? Oh yeah, you just uh, you, just, you just, cook. just cook. Shut up and cook. This guy's like very tuxedo mask. I just want it to look like he's getting some. So like, look at this addition right here. Why is this line here? Why is this line here? I get that this is a chin. The tough thing about me is that I'm notoriously bad at visualizing things. So like for me, this is very stressful. Well, it's just two cute boys making out. 
tried to make this a girl, but it's just not happening. I think it's just that she doesn't really have a face. Like her lips are missing, her nose is missing, but that's just how the they drew it. It's something. This guy's getting some with a girl with no face. I feel bad for him, actually. Sheba woke up. I'm just drawing like an eye, because at least I know that I can do it. And I really want to apply a TikTok thing to this eye. Oh. And also I've been using the wrong uh, pencil this whole time. I should have been using this mechanical one because it's like a lot darker and nicer. Oh my goodness, the struggle. The problem with these drawing tutorials is they're like here. I'm gonna draw it right the first time and you're just gonna have to figure out why. Oh, geez. Wow. Her head seems pretty big in this. I wouldn't have done that, but I'm just following directions. What happened to Sheba? He's taking a leak. Holy sh shoot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so simple. Why was it so hard? You know what I mean? Like, do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a girl. With her hair all flippy? flippy. Should I do the effect on her? Sure. I need red, blue, and white. I'm outlining it in black because I want to do like a TikTok glitch effect thing that I saw on it. Just hope it works. And like this is a very like rookie thing that I don't know because I've never done it. But I'm hoping that I can erase some of like the janky pencil after this Sharpie is down and dry. You think I can do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause like I'm just like kind of refining it a little bit and making it a bit better. But this is also a learning experience too because I'm kind of learning that if I don't go in one continuous stroke with the Sharpie, then it looks kind of like bad. So like the eyes, like I shouldn't have started on the eyes. Like I should have kind of done it until I was sure for doing like the center of the entire thing. But I think everything here is outlined. So like, you know that bunch of eraser that comes out after you're erasing something? When I was in like elementary school, I used to like try to make it as long as possible. I used to have like eraser chunks that were like a giant snake. I don't know why I was like super obsessed with having long eraser remnants. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cute. It's kind of working. The only thing that's like bugging me is, is that her like line isn't completely on fleek, you know? It's funny how that's the part that bothers me. I'm like, her eyeliner is messed up. Can't be having that. Ooh, look at her. She's beautiful. So to do this glitch effect. So blue and then red. Okay, so I have to outline one whole side of every single line with blue to like get this glitch effect going. So this is gonna be kind of time consuming, but these are the things we do for art. Oh shit. Okay, doing one continuous stroke with this isn't working. You just have to have the steadiest hand to do this. You have to be like a tattoo artist. Now pink, it's supposed to be red, but we don't have it. So wherever there's blue, I will put red. Blue on the left side of all of your lines and red on the right side of all of your lines. Okay, now I'm like bringing lines out where the blue is coming out. Ooh. They have to go to the left only. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the pink. The concept here is to kind of like try to make her look like she's glitching out. Like she's a cute little anime character, but she's glitching. A bit of a Doki Doki vibe. Yeah, that's what we're going for. I mean, it's starting to look cool. I'm just kind of like putting them randomly because I don't want it to be too symmetrical. It's gotta look like a glitch, you know? Cool, it's starting to work. I didn't think I was gonna be making something kind of cool today. <laughs> the power of friendship and TikTok will always save us. Where'd the friendship come in? You always need friendship. Yeah, but who's your friend? Nobody. So where's the magic coming from? Shut up, don't remind me. I guess you can always take a piece of garbage and like make something cool with it. I guess it's the power of creativity more than it is friendship. I'm like just trying to not think about it too much. I'm trying to just like bing, bong, ging, gong, wahong. Ooh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Like, is it just me or is that kind of cool? Does that look kind of cool to you? <laughs> so you're supposed to use like a white marker to like take segments randomly out of it. But I don't have that, so I have to use white out. I don't know about that. Is she a glitchy girl? She might be. Gonna have to cover that blue because I went a little too far. Whiteout dries quick, life comes at you fast, art's what you make it, I guess. 
She's a glitchy girl. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kartha Gewertz. She can't draw. Glitch. TikTok. YouTube. Girl. Look, she even has her name. Nice. Yeah, she's massive glitch. Can't stand her, she's so glitchy. Long story short, I feel like I've been trying like a lot of art and cooking and stuff like that when I've been stuck at home and like I'm really glad that I've had this time at home to do nothing because like I've been making so much random stuff that I'm proud of. Like, hello? Like when I first painted that thing, I hated it. It's sick. I was so frustrated all throughout this video, but glitch girl? Kinda sick. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you to do some like drawing stuff, art stuff, cooking stuff, kind of any stuff that pushes you and makes you go like, ew, I hate this, I'm so frustrated. But then you're like, hey, that's pretty fun. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see ya on the next one. Bye. How many times have I used whiteout for like attempted art? I think that number is too high.